spider sense is tingling. Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya! Hello, hello, welcome to Spiller Kinsey, and this video is going to be our video on how to use mouse and keyboard on Nintendo Switch. So if you want to see the gameplay right away, you can jump at the 5 minute mark of the video. And for this video, we will not be using GameSir VX Aim Switch. And we will be doing different setup. For this video, we will be using Magic NS and Sim Apex. In addition to these two gadgets, we will be using a keyboard and mouse. For this one, I'll be using a Logitech mouse and my keyboard is a Keychron K2 keyboard. It is a mechanical keyboard. If you see on our screen, we also have our Xbox One controller since we will be using Sim Apex where it will emulate the controller to support mouse and keyboard. So before we start our setup, the purpose of this video is to show you if keyboard and mouse will work on Nintendo Switch without using GameSir VX. And again, this is just for educational purposes only. And let's see if it's really easy to use keyboard and mouse. And if some games will give us some hard time controlling it because natively it is not supported. So let's find out. I will not be discussing what are this gadget is for. So if you want to know more about it, like search in Google, what is Magic NS? Uh, in short, it's just support. It will support um, non-native controllers like Xbox and PS4 controller to your Switch. And for Sim Apex, this is like an emulator of controllers that will let you use other peripherals like mouse and keyboard. So for, for us to start, we need to plug in Magic NS on our Nintendo Switch. And after this one, um, we will put our Sim Apex at the very end of the Magic NS port. After plugging in, we need to plug our Sim Apex USB hub where it has three USB ports. And this is going to be for your controller, for your keyboard and for your mouse. Since I'm using a wireless mouse, I have this Bluetooth dongle. But for the meantime, the keyboard, it will just for presentation only. I will be connecting it via USB-C. And I think that will be it for our hardware setup. So let's go for our setup configuration. Since we're using Sim Apex, we'll be needing some customized um, game settings. So to start, make sure that you have the same Apex application on your phone. So right now I have it on my mobile or Android phone. I installed it and upon loading the application, you can choose different number of games. So you will see that there are games that are supported on PS4 and Xbox. So don't worry about it. And I chose a Fortnite Battle Royale here and you will see different kind of settings that it is um, the key bindings on your keyboard. So take note that on your Nintendo Switch, the implementation is quite different, especially for A and B buttons and X and Y. But in terms of the trigger and right trigger, all of the um, key bindings will be the same. So you have to be um, mindful when you're setting this up. And after that, I think that will be it. Once you load the game settings for a certain game, let's say for example for Fortnite, it will automatically load it on your screen. Make sure that you enable your Bluetooth or else it will not work. So let's start on playing some games. So for this session, we'll be playing Fortnite and Realm Royale. So I really don't have any issue in terms of 
my first landing and then the mouse and keyboard is actually working fine so there are some issues that i noticed like the bindings on my a button and b button is not working so i have to do some amendments or changes for that but everything else everything is working great so in terms of sensitivity of my mouse i think i have the proper configuration for that so i set the ams or aim down side or ads i'm sorry ads the 12 and also the normal shooting at 12 so i think i have it good I see dead people. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I see dead So out of the box, I think Fortnite is really good at keyboard and mouse, especially for Sim Apex. So maybe I'm using a good keyboard or good mouse, that's maybe that's why. And let's go for another game. Run. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> Run. So let's go for another game and this one is going to be a game from Hires, uh, it is called Realm Real. So I play this on Xbox and PS4 as well, this is a cross-play game so you can install it on your Xbox or on your PC and they also allow you to play with different platforms. So this is going to be my first time playing this game but I think I'm having a hard time picking up what is the best settings for my sensitivity because when I move the mouse it is jumping from point to point so it's not smooth uh, comparing it to Fortnite but yeah so let's go let's find out more if we're going to kill a lot of opponents here. Under fire! 
So you'll notice that aiming downside or when you're right clicking on your mouse is not that fluid. So I'm still figuring out which one is the best setting. So at the end of the video, maybe I'll pose it on the comment section. So I think I already managed to get the right one, but I still need to figure it out what, what was the best um, settings for this. So on this on this part, you will see that uh, it jumps right away when you're aiming. So um, it's not really good, especially. So there are some aim, aim assist in the game automatically, but when you're aiming, it is jumping like crazy. So you won't be able to pinpoint right away all right healing up so i did some changes on my settings and then it is quite fluid now and then i want to see it maybe maybe the aimbot is the one causing it like that's why when you aim to your to the other guys or the other opponent it will jump from different part of the screen so maybe on another game i'll disable the aim assist that maybe it will help so this one's like i'm really having a good game on this um session so I think we are only last 10 or last 5 in the game. So you will notice there are some there's still flicker, but I think I'm excited to play another this game, so I want to have another follow-up video in order for me to find out what is the best setting for this. Maybe the aim assist is the one causing the sudden flick. So we're we're the last two here, and yeah, I think I'm going to get off. Too bad, too bad. Oh my god, I really hate this. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in, and you know. If you were turning into chicken, it will be hard for you. So, yeah, I think that's it for me. So mouse and keyboard works on Nintendo Switch this year to 2020. So do you want to do what I did? I think I will not suggest it because it is expensive to have this kind of setup and you only have quite limited games that you can play. Unlike on PS4 and Xbox that you have many choices. Like say, for example, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and many, many more, and even Battlefield. So for Nintendo Switch, I really don't suggest it because not that you cannot use it, but you have very limited game titles to use this kind of controller. So that will be it, guys. Thank you for watching and see you again.